Good afternoon. This is the KTLA 5 News at 1. I'm Glenn Walker. And I'm Leela Feinstein. Photos that shocked the courtroom and testimony from several witnesses opened the hearing, which will decide whether the officers will be tried on charges that include murder and involuntary manslaughter. Kate? L.A. County Sheriff's deputies are asking for your help finding a missing executive from 20th Century Fox. His mother has been found, and as the search continues for the toddler, and an infant, the boy's father, is scheduled to appear in court today. Chris Court, Washington is reacting to a desperate plea from a U.S. citizen in al-Qaeda custody. Speaking under duress, the hostage says that if President Obama does not meet the terrorist group's demands, he will be killed. Elizabeth Corden reports. All right, well, it was, you know, a picture-perfect weekend, I'd have to say. It was nice. A little chilly at night uh, in the South Bay when I was visiting, but... Uh, other than that, it was great. Other than that, it was beautiful. So what do we have for the weekend store? Jessica Holmes has the answer. All right, coming up, another last-second save for the Octomom. That's right. Jennifer Gould is live outside. Well, one day after Vice President Biden threw his support behind same-sex marriage, the White House is backing away from the remarks. A bunch of celebrities are golfing today, but all for a good cause. That's right. KTLA's Elizabeth Espinosa is checking out the George Lopez Celebrity Golf Classic. He is ready with the one-liner. Really yes, I, he really <laughs> did. Yes, he did. That is funny. Okay, <laughs> coming up, a dog food uh, recall you should know about. More on the... Than usual. Yes, it is, and so scary to see that video. Yeah. All right, well, let's talk about our weather here. We have the beginning of a work week, and many of us want to know what we can expect for the week ahead. Probably wish we weren't working. Yeah, well, Jess, and more of your top stories are coming up next. Coming up, the Octomom getting another second chance. Jennifer and a major recall for Dodge and Chrysler cars. David Lazarus has more on the safety concerns. That's coming up in your Consumer Confidential Report. And a could fetch a big bid. Not everyone is happy with impending auction or what led up to it. KTLA Jennifer Gould is live in news. You can check out <laughs> latimes.com slash business. Well, Americans spend $300 billion a year on prescription drugs, and they often pay whatever the pharmacy charges. Yeah, but a new website could help find some bargains for the same medicine. Tech reporter Rich DeMuro takes a look. All right, coming up, when you think of breast cancer, you probably think of it affecting women. Yeah. Well, swimmers around Catalina Island are being warned by lifeguards to be on the lookout for sharks. Well, we just saw what happened to the cat meow. Now, if Americans continue to pack on the pounds, we could be looking at a staggering obesity rate in less than 20 years. Researchers... Think of an eye. Yeah, okay. It is a place where the science of coffee is taken very seriously, from the coffee crop to the cup. Allie McKay shows us the unique brewing methods at Portola Coffee Lab in Costa Mesa. Yeah, you have got to be serious if you're going to go to a yeah. lab to get your coffee. But what if you're in a hurry? Well, then, yeah. uh, hmm, Could may be a problem. not be the place you want to go to. <laughs> All right. Uh, one final check of your traffic and weather coming up. The KTLA 5 News at 1 continues next. <laughs> Taking the word diet out of your vocabulary to get fit. Gail Anderson has a look at some ladies who did just that but are still in shape and are about to take part in a fitness contest.